Hi, I'm William Hay. Have you ever wanted to be beautiful but you couldn't because your parents be ugly? Have you ever wanted to know what changes your face would have to go through in order to get that girl from senior year to like you because she could have been the one? Well, this story might be interesting to you. Find out why here because you're watching SourceFed. <laughs> Photographer Scott Chassero, who took this photo of a woman holding a hawk, and I need one of me just like that, recently decided that he wanted to delve into what makes people beautiful. Let me tell you, buddy, it's not as complicated as you think. Give me three meals a day and call me pretty, and I'll call anybody beautiful. Hey, yo. But Chessero wants to know what makes people actually beautiful, not what leads people into dependent, loveless relationships. And with the help of modern technology, he was able to find a way for people to show what they truly wanted to look like through their subconscious brain functions. How it's done is the subjects are shown several photos of themselves while their brains are hooked up to a scanner, which then determines through their brain movements which versions of themselves they prefer. Because the brain don't lie, except when it lies. Once the subjects have been shown all the images, Chassero compiled all the best traits they chose according to the brain scanner that they responded to the most positively into a single photo. Here you can see one woman made herself look like someone I would try to date until I found out she had a boyfriend who was bigger than me. Or this guy who made himself look like someone who plucks his eyebrow. Or this guy who made himself look like himself because he already clearly loves himself. And simply this person who watches a lot of anime because that's the only reason you like those kind of eyes. This whole thing is so strange to me and probably accidentally a testament to the fact that in today's society there's so much emphasis on changing yourself physically because we come to believe that newer is better. We live in a generation that's so focused on self-improvement probably because all we do is look at other people and how good of a time they try to make us think they're having on social media. You can work in a trash can but if you have the right filter your friends will think you're having a great time. Hashtag trash fun. What do you guys think about this? Is there any part of your appearance you're always trying to correct? Would you want to know what would make you more attractive? Is Michael B. Jordan more handsome than me? Let me know in the comments down below. Also hit that like button so I can feel good about something because I know the answer to that last question is no. Have a nice day.